All right, we're gonna make a leak-free canvas connector. I'm gonna show you how. All right, first let's go over what tools we're gonna need. Some caulk and a caulk gun. I really like Duralink 50 because it's very flexible. Some double-sided tape or some spray adhesive. You're gonna need some vice grips, V-notchers, tongs, snips, razor knife, something to cut that with, marker, tape measure, drill, and screws. Let's go cut the piece of canvas. The canvas connector comes in a box, it's in a roll, and we're gonna be doing 24 by eight duct. So what we need to do is measure out 24 inches, eight inches, 24 inches, eight inches, and then add an extra two. In this case, that'll come to 66 inches. So just make a mark and just go ahead and cut it. It's got a little bit of bend to it because it's in a roll. So you're gonna wanna try to flatten that out best you can. All right, so I'm gonna start with the long side. Again, it's 24 by eight duck. You're gonna wanna put your marks, not on the edge, but up a little bit. You'll see why. So it's 24, eight, you're gonna alternate, 24, eight. This, if it's not two inches, is not a big deal. That can, the size can vary. You just need something to overlap. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now we gotta make V-notches so we can fold it. This is why I inset the mark. So we can just line the V-notch up with it. All right, this is gonna be again our, our fold over piece. What we wanna do is just cut this off at a slight angle. And then we want to notch this end to just give it a little a half of V. We're going to take our tongs. We're going to go ahead and fold this in both sides. And then we'll flip this over. You're going to want to have something to help you fold it where you can apply pressure and give you a nice crease. So you line these two V notches up, fold it to a right angle. Now you just want to check it, make sure the angles are good, make sure that these aren't bowed. All right. So now we're going to have to secure these two. What I've come up with, and again, the goal you know, is to, for this to be leak free. This right here is a problem typically. So this is what I've come up with as a solution. It works pretty well. So this is like the super sticky tape. Pretty sure it's like the same stuff they use for those insect and mouse traps. It is very sticky. Once it sticks to something, it is not coming off. So we're gonna work that in and get that on there. The intent of that is really to hold everything together and to take the stress off the caulk joint, which is doing the actual air sealing. So now we wanna put a nice thick bead right here. This is a moment of truth. You wanna have everything lined up because once this sticks, it is not coming apart. You take your vice grips and you wanna give room for two screws. Two screws so it, it won't pivot. And you will also wanna give room for your S slip. So it's gonna, you're gonna to have to have it at least an inch in. Just for good measure, I like to put a few screws in here to just really hold everything together. I go right through that caulk, that, that bead of caulk, and I'm very careful not to over tighten it. And then what we're gonna do is put an extra bead on here. And then take one of these scrap pieces or something to kind of tool the caulk into place and get rid of that. 
Leak-free canvas connector. We'll set this thing outside in the sun, uh, let it dry, and then it's ready to be installed. All right, now we're gonna put the finishing touches on this canvas connector. We need to fold drive ears. Now, this is still wet, so I'm gonna be careful. So we're gonna fully insert it. These diamonds will show that. I'm gonna try to put a lot of pressure on this crease. So I'm pushing down hard. Now I'm gonna grip it and just squeeze it as hard as I can. What you're trying to avoid is what I call rolling it, which will create a, a large ear. So I'm not gonna fully clamp this down because I don't want my folding tool to get wet caulk on it. I will finish it off with, the, uh, with their tongs. So what you want is you don't want it clamped down too tight. You want to have enough room for your drive connector to get in there, but you don't want it um, sticking out too far. Right, let's do one more side. I'm gonna insert it fully, visually check. Squeeze, putting so much pressure, all the pressure right there. Squeeze it down. Same thing on this side. I am clamping it in place putting pressure with my thumb, folding it, squeezing it. Another thing you can do too, if you want a nice uniformed, squeeze it down while it's on with your tongs. And that'll give you a beautiful, almost factory ear. All right, we're gonna go ahead and install this. Slide it, and see? Yeah, it didn't take long. Let me uh, do the caulk side first. This is why you let the caulk dry. And we're gonna take our drive cleat, slide it right in. I like to get it started. Now go to the next side. 